Ten years ago, the unthinkable happened. A 10-year-old girl named Noelle and her three-year-old half-sister, Mia, were murdered by their father. Now, a decade later, Noelle's mother is sitting down with News 8 to talk about a life taken far too soon. Allie Peters joins us in studio with their story. Allie. Adam, Noel, and Mia were out camping with their father when he killed them both before turning the gun on himself. Tonight, Noel's mother is remembering her daughter's life and how even at such a young age, she brought joy to so many. She was just brilliant. Ten years ago, Rachel Coffey's life changed forever. Her little girl, Noel, and her younger half-sister murdered by their father while out camping. Today, Rachel remembering the moment she heard the news. I said, is my child alive? And he says, I don't believe so, ma'am. And I said, how? And he says, there was a gun in the tent. And I just broke down from there. A decade later, Rachel still remembers her last day with Noel, out for a haircut. The 10-year-old wanted to add accessories into her hair. All the girls had them at the time, and I said, no, no, you can't have them. You're starting Catholic school on Tuesday. Why didn't I just let her have those flowers? Now her favorite belongings in a box and their memories in Rachel's heart. A reminder for her family of the joyful light brought into their lives. She was in the REACH program for gifted children. She wanted to be a veterinarian when she grew up. She loved dancing. She was a math tutor. As years go on, Rachel says she's found a way to help her cope, creating an online group for mothers in similar situations. I found women in a lot of grieving mothers groups that had the same story as me, where the father killed the children. But still, the pain of losing her daughter, a feeling she will carry with her forever. I made the mistake of watching a video of her the other day, and it just tore me to shreds, just to see her laughing and smiling and dancing. Just knowing that that light was put out so early. Rachel is holding a memorial Monday at Village Elementary School in Hilton, which is where Noelle went. She'll be reading nine original poems and releasing butterflies for her daughter. Live in studio, Allie Peters, News 8. Oh, tough to watch. Allie, thank you, though, for that story. By the way, that memorial begins at 2 on Monday and will be held at memorial benches that were dedicated to the school for Mia and Noelle.